Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will see that uh, even though we are not using CVD color function in our whole uh, Python program, then also we are getting this error that minus 215 assertion failed source empty and CVD color error. So basically this error come whenever we pass an invalid integer number to the video capture function. Like guys, if I will pass it zero and if I will run this program, so here you can see that my camera is switched on. This means uh, the video capture function is working properly. But if I will stop this program and if I will pass some uh, random integer number, suppose like 4 or 5, and now I will run the program, then you can see that we have got the error, uh, the same error that I showed you earlier. So this is basically due to the problem that I am not having any webcam that is attached to the integer number 4. So guys, uh, how can you come to know that uh, which webcam are attached to the particular integer number? Like uh, my first webcam it at, uh, is attached to the zero number. And uh, some people uh, say that uh, their first webcam is attached to the minus one number. So how will you come to know that which webcam is attached to the particular number? So guys, for that I have written this function. This function you can find in the uh, description. Uh, I will pass the give you this function on the GitHub repository. From there you can copy this function. So basically, what this function uh, does is it starts from the minus two index and it try to re uh, read till the ten. Means from minus two to ten. It means it will read twelve devices and it will list out all the devices that are currently in the use. Like uh, if let me comment out this code and this is a function now if I will run this function so here you can see that at the last I got output 0 and 2 so this means I am having two webcams that are active on this particular integer number that is 0 and 2 so guys from this function you can come to know that which are the integer numbers that you can use in your video capture function. So thank you for this video and if any doubts further then you can ask in the comment section. Thank you.